Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about the backlash Dion Sanders has been receiving because of the decision that he made to go and coach for the University of Colorado and leave Jackson State University where he was coaching for about three years. So, many people are mad. A lot of people are mad. Not everybody, but a lot of people are mad. They feel like it's like a betrayal. He's turning his back on this HBCU and he's going to a predominantly white school. And I've had conversations with men that are close to me in my life, men that I respect. And I listen to both arguments because there were some of them that were for the decision and some of them that were against the decisions. So I was able to hear some logical perspective and I'm here to give my two cents. So for this one, I have to go and get this Bible verse right here. If you don't want me to read the Bible, then this is not the video for you. So in Proverbs 18 and 16, it says a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. So with Coach Prime's gift, the first group of people that benefited from this gift was black, young black boys, first of all. And then that gift produced results where he produced an undefeated team. So this gift, as the Bible says, it will make room for you and bring you before great men. And his gift was brought brought him before great men, whether they saw him live or they saw him on a TikTok or real, a sh football short, a football edit, whatever it may be. And room was made for Coach Prime to be paid his worth because of the accomplishments and the results that he produced. And yes, maybe down the line years down the line jackson state university would have been able to pay him the millions of dollars but they were not able to do that at this time but the university of colorado was able to do that and so he went there and what i don't like about a lot of the people that are upset with coach prime is that you guys have smoke for this black man that has influenced a lot of young black men to do good things to accomplish good things but you have no smoke for other people other celebrities rappers youtubers whoever it may be that are influencing young black boy young black boys to further their delinquency but y'all got all the smoke for Deion sanders Coach Prime by himself cannot do everything for the HBCUs. When are we going to do something? He did what he was supposed to do. He went to Jackson State University and he changed that college um, football program for the better. What did you do? What did I do? What have we done? But we're sitting right there criticizing him. What are we really mad about? What are y'all really mad about? Because I ain't mad. I'm not mad. What are y'all really mad about? Are y'all mad because, yeah, he left the HBCU. He said he was going to do this. He's going to do that. And then he already ran to over to the white people. Or is it that you guys are mad because he's getting $5 million a year? You know? Or... Is it that, oh, that could have been me, I, that should have been in my position, but the decisions that you made in life disqualified you from ever being a head coach of anything, even Pee Wee. Or maybe you're mad because somebody like that, you were supposed, that was supposed to be your husband, but you had your nose up in the air and you overlooked, you overlooked someone like Coach Prime. What are we really mad about? Because it could be that he's making $5 million a year. So we'd rather him stay there 
and take three hundred thousand dollars a year. Maybe they put uh, ten thousand or fifty thousand each year. Who knows? Then to get paid his worth, could he? Because he has put in the work. He has proven. He has proven results that he deserves that five million dollars a year. And then he's making. He he's he also has the ability to bring in his sons to work with him. Where would his sons get an opportunity like that? But we mad. What are we mad about? What are we really mad about? And all of the young men that he had an opportunity to touch and influence their lives. If they really want it. If they are really hungry. Whether he's there or not. They will make it. If they really, really want it. I remember it. While talking to one of the men in my life that I respect. And he was telling me. He was sitting down. And he was having lunch with some co-workers. Because he was, he's a firefighter. He was a firefighter. He's a retired firefighter. And a young man walk up, walks up to him. And he was like, um, you probably don't remember me. This was 15 years ago. But I was on the wrong track. I was doing a lot of stuff I didn't have no business doing. Because uh, my friend, he would all, even though he's a firefighter, he would take a time and then speak to, go to different schools and speak to them. And he said that he heard him speak and he made the decision that day after he heard my friend speak to change his life. And he say he became a detective for the Homestead Police Department. And he paid for not only my friend's lunch, but his other co-workers um, lunch. Because he said what, you know, that speech changed his life. And it changed his life for the better. So this young man who only heard a speech, he did not have access to my friend. He wasn't emailing him. He didn't used to see him once or twice a week. He just heard a speech and he decided to change his life. Imagine what those young men could do with all that time that they spent with Coach Prime. And many people were saying, oh, this is like the, a slap in the face in the black community. Okay, what have you done, sir, ma'am, for the black community? Who lives have you touched? Which young girl, young boy have you touched in the black community? Because everybody wants to sit down on the computer and on the blog or whatever and, you know, call out Coach Prime. But what have you done? You know, what changes? At least he has done something. He has changed these young men's lives. He has influenced their lives. And now he's going to influence another group of young men. What have you done? What have I done? We want to sit there and criticize people. Here we have this black man that is doing, that's influencing these young men to do great things and to accomplish great things. Because if you listen to the narrative out there and the narrative that has been out there for years about black men, they're good for nothing. They're worthless. They, they don't contribute anything to society. And then here you have this black man that's actually put in the work and produce results actually that other people from the, that's other hue. That's not the same hue as us notice. And then Instead of saying, you know, wish him well. Yes, we are disappointed. Yes, we wanted him to stay long at the HBCUs. But he has a, he has surpassed that. He, his results has surpassed. His gifting has surpassed that. We want, we, do we want him to stay there and say, oh, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to get backlash from the black community and stay there with HBCU unhappy, getting frustrated with the young men, having bitterness and resentment, and then it's, then it starts to be, cause tension instead of him go to another place where he is being paid his worth. He's being paid his worth and influence another group of young men. Okay, so maybe pre, um, all of them are predominantly another hue. But he's influencing them for the, um, to be assets to the society and not liabilities. We have a black man that's doing great things. And then we have people criticizing. But I wish 
Coach Dion Sanders, his family, and everybody that's going to help him in this new endeavor. May God grant him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding even more to accomplish all the goals and everything that he set his mind to do. May God grant him some much, much success in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.